Oh yeah, this is the Razorblade 13 Stealth Edition from 2019. This is how it looks. It's a very slim laptop with a stealthy logo that is not green as with a Razorblade 15. And as you can see here, it is very thin very light to hold in your hands this is how it looks on the back with two fans the front here as you can see I'm just holding it with my fingertips and I can do that very easily so yeah that's a very nice thing and we have USB-A port, USB-C port, a audio jack or headphone jack on the left side and on the right side we have again USB-A and USB-C so you can plug in your charger from either the right side or the left side. On the back no ports and on the front no ports as well. This model is a is configured with an i7 CPU that has four cores and eight threads. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM. It's got one terabyte of SSD storage. And the display is a full HD display with very great colors. It's got 60 Hertz. And I believe it is around 400 nits um, you're gonna have to check that out yourself I can't remember that 100% right now um, and yeah this is how the keyboard sounds I think it's a very great keyboard with a very tactile clicky feel. It feels very like sturdy. This is the trackpad. This is how it looks when you click or how it sounds when you click. It's fairly responsive. Like it feels good. I like that it is centered, it's very symmetrical and oh yeah, let's see how it boots up. This is the Razer logo and now it's opening up Windows and bam, we have the login screen. So that was extremely fast. Also, if we move down the display and if we just lift it up, we can do so with just one finger without any issues and without the bottom uh, coming up with the computer. These are the speakers. That's how they look. And here you can see Raysa in the middle of the display bottom. And yeah, what else is there to say? I just got the machine because I wanted a light alternative or a light um, option for working um, and I just felt for the uh, the design and the weight and how thin it was I, I really like that I have a such a small PC with an i7 chip it works pretty fast, I will say. Um, due to the age of my machine, I have like, I think five hours of battery, so that's plenty for me. But uh, yeah, also here on the front or on the um, back of the display, you can see that there is tracks of fingerprints 
which is very common on race of late computers. I, I wouldn't say that this is that this really bothers me. Um, I'm using a flash um, on my camera, so that will um, enhance how it actually looks in reality. In reality, it is not. It does not look as uh, greasy as, as it does on the film. Here you can see the two, the uh, 15 inch model. It's got uh, exactly the same. But yeah, it's. I wouldn't say that it is something that you would notice. Um, but yeah, what do you think about the Razorblade 13 models and, and this 2019 model in particular? Do you have it yourself? Are you considering buying it? Also, I love that you can just go to the Razor app and turn down the fan all the way down to zero and have a very silent computer experience. But yeah, let me know what is your favorite razor blade in the comment section. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you want to check out more razor blade videos or other tech videos. I'll just see you in the next video. Bye.